Hi friends! In this video I am going to give you some important and interesting tips about layers here in AutoCAD. If you are very fresh in this program and know very little about this topic, I recommend you to first watch the tutorial about layers that you can find in the description of this video. On the other hand, if you are already comfortable, stay here as we are going to start. Add the layer drop down list in the quick access toolbar. As you know, the list where we can choose our current layer is located at the Home tab at the Layers panel. With that, we choose the layer for the next objects we are drawing. But sometimes we are just in different tabs on the ribbon and then we want to remember what was our current layer. So in that case, we have to go back to the Home tab or check it out on the Layer Properties Manager. So I'm going to show you a really quick tip to avoid switching all the time between tabs. Go to the Quick Access Toolbar, which is this one at the top. Click on the Eject button and put a tick on Layer. So look. Now the layer drop down menu is always visible in the screen, no matter the tab on the ribbon that we are. I personally like to use this, and maybe it's something that you didn't know about, and you may want to do the same. Match properties. This tip is not directly related with layers, it's more with objects, but once objects are related with their layers, I decide to include this tip on this video. Now I'm going to change the line type of the yellow layer, just to make it looking different than the others. I have to click here in Continuous, then I'm going to load another type, select this dashed one for example, and click on it again here. Now, suppose I want to change this circle to the layer of the dashed lines. Usually that's easy. I only need to select the circle and then click on this drop down list and select the yellow layer. The thing is that not always the layer list is small. You may know, sometimes in big projects, layers are just endless and you can spend easily 20 or 30 seconds trying to find out the layer on the list. But hopefully, there is a quick alternative. If we click on Match Properties, Select the source object, then the second object will match the properties of the first object. So the circle now has the properties of the line, which in this case has the same properties of the yellow layer. Now this is important. If I set that line a different color, this blue one, but still in the same layer, then I apply match properties to the circle, you can see it changing to blue and to the yellow layer. So in conclusion, match properties applies to the source object and not to the layer. Override layer properties in a layout viewport. In a specific viewport in the layout space, it may be convenient to override some properties. And the main reason for that is sometimes we want drawings to look different when we print a drawing or some parts of it. For example, as we usually work in a dark workspace, we use light colors because they are easier to see. However, in a white normal paper, they will look too bright. And to solve that problem, we can use color overrides. First, I have to go to the model space of this viewport by double clicking on it. Then on VP color, we can set a different color for a layer in this specific viewport. For example, if I want to change the yellow layer to look darker, I can see the result right away here. Then I'm going to do the same for the cyan layer. Now, have a look at the status column. As you can see, there are different symbols here and let's see what they mean. The green tick indicates the current layer, and I think you already know this. Then, we have the layer symbol. If it's blue, means that the layer has objects there. 
If the layer symbol is white, it means the layer does not have any objects yet, like the dimensions layer. Then there is another one with a square next to the layer, means that the layer has specific properties in this layout viewport. And that's the reason the cyan and the yellow layer have that status because I set a different viewport color there. Now if I change the line type of the green layer, look that the status symbol also updates. For those layers, I can see the override properties when I hover the cursor on the symbol. Lay Walk In AutoCAD, there is a tool where we can jump between layers noticing what we have in each one. The command is Lay Walk and the way it works is selecting the layer that we want to view or if I want to view more than one, I hold CTRL while clicking. At the end, we can close the window, but also you can see this checkbox that says Restore on exit. If it's unchecked, only the select layers are still turned on. On the other hand, if we restore on exit, we return to the previous layer state before using the command. So it was everything for today. But this time before leaving, I want to mention that I just started a page on Patreon for Calimbla. There you can support this channel to help me keep creating more content here. I would really appreciate that. Even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos available and that they are helping you to speed up your knowledge. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time.